Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I had a video up before, and I had to redo this video because it got all... The quality was terrible on my screen. Uh, so this though should be a little bit better quality here. And what I wanted to do, I'm on a website called Binance. Okay, um, this is, I guess, it's just the introduction to looking at prices, maybe how to decide what you want to buy. Um, depends on how much money you have. And I'm going to go through with just uh, a few quick things here. Okay, I have uh, a Binance account. You can go get one. And I have some funds in here. I uh, have 316 uh, shares or coins of BitShare. I bought them at 49 cents a, a share. I am at, actually at that screen now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump around and come back to this to give you, to show you kind of how, what I'm going to use my strategy from now on. And I'm kind of new to trading. What I'm going to do uh, is focus on the small coins because that's all I could really afford and try to buy like two, three hundred of them and watch them as they go up maybe five cents. You make twenty dollars, thirty dollars, you know, and, and just keep an eye on them. So uh, I'll get back to the Binance one in a minute. I did have XRP. That was, uh, I had uh, XRP and uh, this is XRP right here where we're bringing up. You can see XRP. Okay, it's at hundred and it's at a dollar nineteen a share now, and everybody's selling it. You can see here on the left this green. That means they're selling it. The red means they're. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That means they're buying it. I'm sorry. They're buying it. The right means they're selling it. Now, actually, it's a good time to buy it. But uh, I bought mine at like one forty-five. I bought three uh, hundred and thirty-three of them. So I'm just using mine to fool around here. I'm not behind because originally I had $95 and I invested it into uh, Litecoin and then it went up to 180 and then I pulled it out. So I only have one Litecoin. I own a few more Litecoin now. I bought them since, but I have them in a paper wallet offline. Just letting them sit there. I'm going to see what's going to happen with them. But I have this, you know, this set amount of $150 to work with to see what I can do with it. And at the same time, it gets some experience. But the XRP was dropping, so I just... You know, I keep it in this exchange. The rest is like offline. So I sold it. And I sold this. And then I went ahead and I bought. And if you go up here on the right where my mouse cursor is, you'll see all the listings. And in here it can show your price, change. Uh, this is the pair, uh, you know, if it's Bit Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever. Now I go all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see here, as I go down to the bottom, the change uh, is higher now i was looking at this one for 23 so this actually the other video i had it in there it was at 197 it went up to you know 202 201 so if you had like uh you know it's a two dollar uh coin but if you had a hundred of them it'd be 400 and if it went up a little bit you'd make some money uh but then i started looking around and the other ones there was 18 percent here but this was not at 18%. This was like at 15 And I was watching the changes. The big one is the ZRX. That's changing a lot. Okay. But then I noticed also it's BTS. And I didn't know what BTS was. So I pulled it up and I found it was bit, uh, bit shares. And looked them up. They weren't bad. Now this is what I bought it for. 49 cents. But it had gone up to, uh, you know, 51 cents. So but let me show you what that equates in money. If I go on my balance here. And you can see... That's $158.67 because I have 300 and some uh, shares of it, okay? So if that goes down, uh, I think it just went up eight, uh, to, eight, to 158 because it probably just uh, went up. It went up, to one, it went up to 51 cents. And it's been gyrating, oscillating like this most of the night from 48 cents to 51 cents. So now it's back to 49. So, I mean, as long as it's like hand, staying in there, I'm going to see. I mean, because... I'm still ahead in the money that I made in the Litecoin, but I want to try to get some uh, sense out of this. Then, uh, if you go to a lot of these in here, and you can look at them. Now, um, I, I just look at the changes here. You see how fast they happen. ZRX happens pretty fast. <laughs> and there's other ones up here, like uh, I see these when they start changing. I click on them and see. This is a $3.76 one. It has a, a positive 9.83. Uh, you can go to the candlesticks. I like the depth because that shows you who's trading, who's buying. Right now, people are buying that stock. 
or that coin very little selling it's a positive so then we go to this one here which is st strat whatever that one is you can look them up then later on you get them memorized now these are a little bit more expensive now of course if we just go into bitcoin you know bitcoin and let's see what bitcoin is uh oh, Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't want to go. I'm going to go to Litecoin. Litecoin right there is at $175. Um, 170, 175. Well, you know, like I said, it was at 95 once. So uh, I have two and a half of these. So I'm just going to let it set. Uh, it, it's still in the positive, so that's okay. Um, so if you go into, uh, there's all different stuff here. But if you go into the top here, you see a lot of these ones are losing. So I just take it and go all the way down to the bottom, and I just look at these. Now let's just see what this one's up now. It's at 49 cents again. Uh, this, is, this is back to 203, the ZRX. Uh, I forgot what ZRX was. Uh, let me look it up and tell you, because I'm not sure. Uh, ZRX is, um, it's OX, OX, whatever it's called. Okay, so and this is the price chart for that. Well, uh, you know the the chart for it. So that's what that one is. Uh, how about we look for bit shares here? See what they look like. They're at, like I say, uh, forty nine cents. It's really, it's gone between forty eight uh, and fifty one cents the last hour. But like I say, you can see down my balance here, where my cursor is. I have three hundred sixteen of them. So uh, I think it's just. Uh, I'll buy a little bit more and just have like about a thousand. I think you really need a thousand to make any kind of money. Because if you look at these trading, what people are doing this, look at the left hand side here. You can see um, there's 3,000 somebody bought, there's 1,800 somebody bought, 13. Here's a guy who sold 27,000. But when you're dealing with pennies and stuff, it adds up to be a lot of money. It's 27,000 times. So you really have to have those big numbers to be able to move that money around and actually make something. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what that other one is. Um, Oz is this one here, BitShares. Okay, there's BitShares. 12.78%. Um, and it tells you, here's your little chart on it. It tells you a little bit about it. So you can get all this uh, information on the internet. And it's nice to have this... Um, Right in front of you. I like the depth charts because it shows you who's buying and who's selling. So a lot of people are buying it now at 49 cents. Uh, it really hasn't gone to 48 much. Back here, 202. This is steady. This was at 197. I have actually a list that I printed out here. Let me find my list of some that were really low. And see what they were doing so let's put that one in there this one here okay, let's see if I get out of there CDT this one was pretty low um, this when I had it was at 15 cents it's still at 15 cents uh, a lot of people selling so that was a low one uh, what was another low one let's see there was um yo yo it's called okay so yo yo The yo yo was 23. When I wrote this down, it was still at 23. It really hasn't changed. Uh, a lot of people buying it. Uh, a little spike there in selling. So there's the candlestick chart. 23. So I actually just basically went through all of them just to see um, um, what was happening. Because uh, I want to buy some of the small ones. I think they're easier to make some money on it. Sun. What's this one? 34 cents. That was at that was at 33. That that one actually went up. Um no, actually went get out of here. It actually went down. Hmm. Sun went down, huh? Yeah, it actually went down, I guess. Let's do the one minute. Yeah, it did. How about uh 30 minutes? No, yeah, okay, so it actually went down. So that was actually positive before. Uh, CND, I don't know if I did that one. Let's 
That was positive one. That was at uh, C and D was at twenty nine. It hasn't. It really hasn't uh, changed. Don't say. Um, it really hasn't uh, changed much. So, but at least if you're getting positive, so it's nice thinking you're going here. Like I say, uh, this is the strategy I'm going to follow. I'm going to look at this chart. I'm going to go all the ones in the green. I don't really want to look at stuff that's in the red and crap. If it's going down, I mean, you could actually look at that for it going down. You can see the change uh, going down. So, um, you can see uh, this one here has gone down 9.25%. Uh, what are people doing in the depth chart? They're buying because it, it went down probably. You know, uh, and it's nice because you look at whether it went down or went up. I'd like to tend to look like it went up. Um, I guess that the other you could look at the other end or going down find the very lowest one uh, the lowest one that's the cheapest one here 16 cents okay this one people are be selling it. Uh, 21 a dollar 27 cents a lot of people buying that one it's at a minus fall so but uh, it's nice to have the ones that got the, the good gains too because then you know, you could work with that. Let's see what's happening with this. So 49, is it dropping? It's 49, and blah, blah, blah. And then when you go in money-wise, uh, this is kind of balance. You get on there. Okay, so it's $157. Up and down, up and down. But if it goes up, signal well, it's now it's at 51 cents. So i like to see it break. I think I'm going to leave it at the pitch here. Once I do get my money in from, uh, uh, I had some Bitcoin I sold. We'll see what happens. But... Hopefully this is helping you. This is just kind of showing you. Now, when you buy stuff, you could go in here. Uh, it has a, a limit, a market, a stop limit. Stop limit means you put an amount where it's going to, it'll stop at, and then you can set a limit, an amount. It's Most of the tutorial stuff is on their website. They do have another uh, type of screen you can use, which is advanced. I'm just bringing up, see, it's a big advanced screen like this. I don't use it. I just like to kind of have everything in front of me here. But um, hopefully this is, you know, going to be a little educational, guys. Uh, but this is Binance. Get your account. Uh, but I would recommend, you know, when you put a hundred bucks in and, and buy the small ones, these teeny ones and stuff. And just, I mean, if I mean, if you have like, if you buy two hundred dollars worth of it and you have like a few hundred, like I have, man, I mean, it goes up five cents. You know, it's like twenty, thirty dollars. I know you you got to watch it, but you know, there's some fun involved there too. So, but. Uh, it really helps to learn about it. Focus on one, find out, and uh, later on you could go into different exchanges. I uh, hope this was educational, guys, and thanks a lot.